is your hair thinning do you have bald patches slow hair growth shedding postpartum shedding slow hair growth do you comb your hair and find strands of hair littered on the floor and gathered on your combs are you bothered about your shedding and breakage have you tried some products and nothing seems to be working for you then you need this powerful hairspray this spray focuses on hair fall and breakage fyi if your ball spots have refused to grow and you've tried all manner and nothing seems to be working i advise you have your follicles checked with a device to ensure that your hair follicles are not damaged before you try this diy product this product helps with fast hair growth and your hair may become too thick to handle with consistent use of this diy product this product will nourish your hair follicles and prevent excessive hair fall it reduces inflammation prevents premature graying make sure not to miss this if you experience slow hair growth thinning hair postpartum hair loss welcome to the channel my name is dima please remember to give this video a thumbs up before you leave to begin grab a jar make sure all apparatus to be used are well sterilized so i'm using this jar and our first ingredient is lipton tea not only does lipton keep your hair from falling out it also help it grow the caffeine works to stimulate hair follicles and increase circulation and blood flow to your scalp. This stimulation encourages hair growth in a healthy, natural way that won't leave your scalp feeling angry and irritated. For the proportion, I make use of one tea bag of the lip tin. So I cut that open and transferred into my jar. For those of you in diaspora, this is called black tea. This is just a brand called Lipton. There are other brands. Please feel free to use any brand you find around you. It must not be Lipton. There are other black teas. For those of us in Nigeria, this is just a popular brand called Lipton. So if you don't have Lipton, you can use other ones. Moving on to our next ingredient, I have green tea. Green tea contains an abundance of catechins, which are antioxidants in nature. These compounds help in reducing dihydrotestosterone, in short, DHT, which is responsible for hair loss. Green tea is a powerhouse of nutrients including vitamin b not many know that vitamin b plays a major role in controlling hair fall it is also helpful in getting rid of split ends for the proportion i measured out one tablespoon of the green tea into my jar moving on to the third ingredient i have coffee this is from a brand called nest cafe please use any brand of your choice coffee can be applied topically to the scalp and hair to reduce hair loss and encourage regrowth coffee's caffeine content can promote hair growth and hot hair loss it stimulates the hair shafts causing the roots of the hair to grow longer and wider as a stimulant caffeine promotes blood flow to the hair follicles i just use a sachet Moving on to my next ingredient, I have hibiscus. Hibiscus is loaded with various beneficial ingredients that help to stop hair loss and prevent baldness. Loaded with vitamin C, flavonoids, amino acids, mucilage fiber, and antioxidants. The extracts of hibiscus leaves and flowers nourishes your hair, promotes hair growth, and provides a soft and silky texture. Moving on, I transferred about four flowers of the hibiscus into the jar poured about 500 ml worth of hot water in it and covered with a foil please if your jar comes with a plastic just like mine please do not use it use foil instead because that can interfere with the ingredients please brew this or steep for 12 hours before you strain for the straining i'm using my bowl and a sieve to collect my filtrate. Next, after sieving, I transfer to my spray bottle that will help me spray in my hair. Or if you're using this as a tea rinse, that is on your wash day, after shampooing your hair, deep conditioning, you can just pour this on your hair. That way you don't need to transfer it into your spray bottle. Just pour it on your hair, all over your hair 
wait for 30 minutes to an hour before rinsing off and then proceed for your moisture routine if you're battling with postpartum hair loss i suggest you use this as a tea rinse that is use it on your wash day and then also use it as a base for your moisture routine that way it's going to work perfectly to reduce your shedding so i love to use mine as a leave-in so that's why i transferred it into my spray bottle this hair tea this treatment is very very powerful as you can see the ingredients they are very powerful and they help with hair loss like i said earlier i love to use mine as a leave-in treatment i apply it as a base for my moisture routine then i follow up with my leave-in conditioner and then i see with my hair growth oil or hair butter cream or hair grease i recently made this hair grease that i love so much and i'm going to be attaching it on my end screen so watch this video to the end so that you can see how i made that hair grease it's really really nice and i love it so much it keeps my hair moisturized for long please when using this tea as a leave-in treatment please don't forget to follow up with your leave-in conditioner so that it doesn't dry out your hair don't come back running to me saying dimma this dried out my hair in order not to make mistakes always watch my videos to the end because towards the end i always drop the instructions for each of the video so make sure to watch to the end of all my videos if you're watching so that you can hear what i have to say towards the end again this treatment is not for any baby below two years so from two years upwards can use this treatment please use baby products for children below two years of age so this treatment does not know that you're 70 years or 80 years so from two years to 100 years can use this treatment because i know a lot of you ask me these questions a lot in the comment section here's my tip to you if your hair is thinning if your hair is not thick if your hair is not healthy please try to trim your ends on a schedule like me i for one i trim my ends every three months that way my hair is able to maintain its volume my hair is always looking healthy and lustrous okay so always trim your ends trim off those split ends trim off those knots those knots those split ends they cause a lot of harm to your hair so if you learn to trim them off when you ought to you will love your hair trust me you'll be able to retain length don't be scared of short hair short hair does not matter provided you have the healthiest hair there is long hair will come your goal should always be healthy hair and not long hair because not all long hair you see out there are healthy that brings me to the end of this video thank you so much for watching again please remember to give me a thumbs up before you leave and then subscribe also share this video bye